We all know Madeline Sami. Call us a curriculum vitae. More like a curriculum feces. She was the star of Super City and the Breaker Uppers. Sheree don't want to be with you no more. Sheree don't want to be with you no more. And we all love Antonia Preble. She's best known for West Side and Outrageous Fortune. But I can't believe I considered even for a second that we could get back together. In their brand new series, Double Parked, they play lovers going through IVF. Are you all good? I missed my period. Oh. Their characters, Nat and Steph, are left dumbfounded when a botched home insemination job results in the unthinkable. Does it say that I'm that I'm pregnant on that piece I of just... paper? Nat, I'm pregnant. Me too. <laughs> mates that you've kind of been in adjacent things but you've never done a show before what the heck no we met during outrageous fortune because mads came and did one episode we did yeah and then swiftly became friends after that but no then and then i did one scene in super city I think. oh yeah i did one yeah, scene did too. and then but no so nothing significant and Ma mads doesn't remember your scene at all <laughs> <laughs> On the treadmill. Oh on the treadmill. No, yeah. no, Mads. Now, Mads, I got a bone to pick with you because yeah, you're the okay. director of this show, mm. and then mysteriously you got cast in one of the lead roles. <laughs> Did you just cast yourself? Listen, I played my cards right. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to the right people. <laughs> Is it hard to do both? Yeah. Uh, yes, very hard. Mm. Um, but I had a lot of support with with Chris Parker, who was obviously the showrunner yeah. and the writer on set, um, and it was a very collaborative environment and so yeah it was uh we we it's a you know sort of a low budget new zealand show but we we all kind of banded together and and, and pulled through with low budget know, floods new and cyclones and everything else that that auckland yeah. threw at us in our seven week shoot period well you call it a low budget new zealand show every new zealand show is a low budget new zealand show <laughs> this is particularly low <laughs> Yeah, no. But, but, it, but it's a great show. Can I say it's one of the funniest New Zealand shows I've seen in a long You've time. Seen it's seen a fantastic. Yeah. I've seen the first two episodes. I would yeah. watch anything with you two in it. Um, mm. And Tony, you and I have talked parenting over the years. And, of course, you're playing a mum in this. Is there any moments during filming where you're like, this is kind of like real life? Yes. Well, because I've played a lot of pregnant characters, but yeah. this was the first time I'd played a pregnant character since actually having children. Right. So that was quite interesting. And I'd say definitely the morning sickness element, I could really relate to. Yeah. So I, I felt I could bring a lot of truth to my vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you're saying Friggin. it was low budget, did you have budget for costumes or did you have to go method and get like, actually pregnant? Well, it's funny you say that. Most of my... We, there was a budget for costumes, but I actually wore most of my own Yeah, clothes. I'd be like, some, some, one day we'd be on set and I'd be like, those jeans look really good on you, babe. And she'd be like, they are my jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to making TV in New Zealand. <laughs> Bring your own clothes. We did have a wonderful costume designer who was yes. great, but actually, yeah. like, my character was pretty much just me, yeah. and Mads' character was pretty much just her. Yeah, I would come so, to, I would wear green jeans to work, and then I'd take my green jeans off and put my character's green jeans on. <laughs> so it was very, it was very, it was like a fever dream. And, and, and was that nice for you, Tony? Like, not having to play the Westy baddie, but actually playing someone that you're like, hey, I know this girl. It was great. Yeah, it was so great. And I've never really done a comedy before, yeah, which was really funny. <laughs> She's a really Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Been on you as a mate, but it's nice to see... You didn't like her much in the show you made. Yeah, just <laughs> just oh, yeah. she's one scene funny. Yeah, it was one scene funny. We cut her from that show. No, um, no, no. no it's, I've always known Tony as funny, but I'm really excited for the rest of New Zealand to find yeah. out. Yeah. Thank and there's, there's not many Kiwi shows with same-sex uh, female relationships on screen, so that must be kind of important in a way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think so. And it feels like time, but it's also like a, it's a, sh you know, like... The really the central kind of relationships in the show, you know, our relationship obviously, but then there's this really beautiful like flat friendship which I feel like is really recognisable, will be really recognisable to Kiwi audiences, and we've got the wonderful uh, Kura Forrester and Do Dominic Ona Ariki in it, who are just so funny and so charming and. When you, you said know, Dominic, I love Dominic. She just she, she gasped. I love she my gasped. name so much. She's like, oh, 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 oh you are gonna just die. die. You, you are, are gonna die. He's so Careful, gorgeous. She'll have another coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Some days we're just behind the monitor and we're just like, oh. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> and just like, oh. Five million hearts yeah. will melt if yes. everyone in New Zealand yeah. watches it. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, sure they will. Yeah, indeed. And um, if you need any more incentive, Chris Parker and Alice Sneddon have written it. It's going to be so good. And it's tonight, Double Park. It's on 8.30 on 3. Or you can catch it on 3 now. It's tomorrow oh, night. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. It's I suddenly was like, so excited. I'm in a time warp. It's tomorrow. <laughs> 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 um, after seven days, tomorrow night. Please thank Antonio and Madeline. <laughs>